In this video, we're going to teach you to dance like a pro by breaking down a champion West Coast swing dancer in a way that you can do. What's up everyone, it's Brian B. And Miss Megan. From West Coast Swing Online. In this video, we're gonna bring you a champion's breakdown. So we're gonna watch it right now. It's uh, Kyle Red and Victoria Hank doing what looks super cool and advanced, but is really based off of a sugar tuck. All right, cool, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll give you our version of it, and then we'll break it down in a couple of different ways. But the base, base version did this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and then they came out, and then she spanked oh, us, she spanked I, us I, behind. I, we're gonna leave the spanking and the behind out. Uh, that's musicality, but it's based off of sugar tuck. So let's first things first. Based off of sugar tuck, where we tuck our partner, and go away to the other side, right? So the basic concept is Megan's coming to me, I'm leading her back, I'm tucking, going over her head and anchor stepping. But they're gonna over rotate the anchor step with a little bit of a neck wrap. So what goes on here is we're gonna make this kind of a lower than normal tuck because I know that it's not going over Megan's head. Then as we step count four, I'm gonna start to feed it around the corner so I can start to pick up her back, right? Then on the five and six, we're gonna work ourselves around and trade Megan to my right hand, right? That's the first part. Let's look at it from the other side. So lower hand on the sugar tuck is gonna uh, initiate kind of a neck wrap feel, right? We have a lower hand. I'm gonna follow this around because I need to start to contact her back. I'm gonna feed my hand and I'm gonna run her on the triple to the other side, triple step. Cool. What do you think about there, like footwork wise, uh, connection wise, what's going on that you know that that's over rotating? I don't exactly think footwork. I am following your lead through this hand and it's going uh, further than I would normally go on a sugar tuck. So then I'm paying attention to where you want me to go and that's where my feet go. Cool. So uh, that's the general feed direction. So you can practice this. Leaders, I do something with my feet because, of course, West Coast Swing is based on an away and a toward connection, right? So obviously we begin an away connection. We go to a towards connection. But then as I feed this around, around the corner, right, I need to be counterbalanced away on the other side. So how do I do that? I have a couple of things I do with my feet specifically. If you watch the actual video, and this is what makes champions champions, they are keeping these concepts of away connection, but they are also playing with the timing underneath. So the timing of our footwork is gonna be walk, walk, triple, triple, squarely on time. What you're gonna see in the video respects walk, walk, triple, triple. However, they do it with a lot of syncopations underneath, right? So we're not gonna break down those syncopations. We're gonna make sure we understand the fundamentals of the move. Once you get there, you probably don't need this video anymore. So we have one, two, three, and four. So now as I feed Megan around, right, on five, on five, she's gonna be kind of away from me, and six, and I'm gonna feed her to that away connection because this is what they do use for a little syncopation, again, to switch sides before they roll in for the little, the, the, the spanking. Anyways, if, you, if we play that long, <laughs> that much of the clip, right? So first things first, low hand in the tuck, we feed this around, right? I, my, my priority is to feed this hand to this hand, so her body from my left hand to my right hand, right? <laughs> And as she's working back into this, if she stretches back into this, what it does is it allows us a syncopation. They stay back on six, they continue back on one, then we do and two, and two, right? So instead of walking out on one, putting us on this foot, right? What they do is they hang out on one and they stretch further back. One, and then they catch up with and two, and two. So we did it again, one and two, one and two, one and two, and then we can walk out for a one, two to come out. So we do the whole thing from the other side. Again, it's based off a of sugar tuck, right? That over rotates, low hand on the sugar tuck, feed the follower to my right hand, stretch and step. You can do this a couple times. And then when I'm done, I've restricted Megan's space by staying further this way. So there's not any more room that she can stretch. She has to walk out with me. 
anything you think about in terms of your responsibilities? Because I know I have a lot that I have to worry about in terms of balancing. Yeah, um, the follower's job is really to stay connected. So right here, starting here, you want to make sure that you're connected with this hand and staying where, or going wherever it tells you to go. So I'm going from this hand and switching my connection back into this hand. I say back. Really, it's just away into this hand. So once I heard a West Coast Swing teacher say, we have to connect away. Which direction is away? Away. Any direction. So it doesn't matter where we are. Away is away from each one of us. So even though this is super basic pattern, super doable, because it literally is walk, walk, triple step, right? Walk, walk, triple step, triple step. <laughs> Bingo, right? Sorry, I slipped. <laughs> <laughs> walk, walk, triple step, triple step. This is the syncopation where they go one and two, right? So the one, there's no footwork. They increase that connection back, one and two, and then they're off to the races. Cool? So sugar tuck, understand your basic footwork. Leaders, we're going to wrap around. Followers are going to start to try to stay, stay connect. connected to that hand. When we get to the end of it, we're going to be connected using our body weight away, using a little bit. Actually, I got something we can link up here. Our um, anchor step video, yep. the stretch into the wall. Mm -hmm. So let's link that up. Um, that'll be helpful to work on this stretch. So if you're interested in that, we'll have Megan link that up in the corner or in the description below. We have a video. We have our an anchor strip step drill that we work on stretching because you want to have that available to you when you do this. You just don't want to clunk into this, <laughs> right? You want to have an ability to stretch into this, and we've got a drill that we use that will help quite a bit. So grab that. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about us. We're putting out lots of cool stuff for you on lockdown for the coronavirus, but we're still here. Fingers crossed. 20 21. One <laughs> is better. I uh, hope you guys are happy and healthy, and we'll see you again in the next video. Mm -hmm.